My name is Erin Bradley. I am a Gauteng Department of Education teacher at Brian Evan Primary School. Brian Evan Primary School is a school in Johannesburg, South Africa, and we've been using Purple Mash for about a year and a half. This lesson shows you how to embed a Purple Mash game, as well as your Scratch game, which is a shared project, in a simple website. We use Google Sites, which comes absolutely free and is a wonderful tool. We're going to cover two, and that's how to publish your Scratch game on any website that you want easily. And then the second thing is how you can be known and publish some of your, some of you might know that from the previous lesson. I would appreciate if a lot of you can focus that when you come out of our coding lessons, you're learning a lot. I listened and I used the knowledge I had to make something. If you're just playing a game, you may learn how to play the game, but I would not say it's entirely creative. And sometimes when you do coding, you'd like other people to see it. So let's have a look at how to publish. I can see some of you are not really listening to me. I want to see you being the best. Effective teaching is when I teach you something and you go and you make and you show something that is remarkable. You take my knowledge and then you make it your knowledge and your abilities. You can become one of those people who can make. It's all about using opportunities. It's a great opportunity to learn to have a computer. But if others do something wrong with a computer, the group that sees misused computers gets bigger. And because they look like TV sets, people start becoming, okay, it is a TV. It's only for watching movies and things. Purple Mash has got a range of creative tools. And you don't even realize Purple Mash allows you to make a game easily. And I can put it on the internet. And you guys must use Purple Mash to do this. Let's go and find an easy game because I'm not going to go with something too complicated. I'm going to go with tools and then I'm going to go to one of the simple games. Very easy. I'll go with a puzzle. Now there's all of the others that'll work. You've just got to make the game and customize it for yourself. Launch app. Hopefully I can find some beautiful picture. I'm going to go with that puzzle over there. Smiley face means yes. Now I'm going to make my game for my mummy. So I'm going to go, oh, there's a whole lot. I don't really like these. Look, these are coloring in ones. And this one's very colorful. I'm going to go from my computer. See what pictures I can find. My PC. So I'm going to look on my computer. And if I go to desktop there, I've got a few. There's our school badge. And let's go with the school badge. And I'm going to bring that into my puzzle. I love our school. Information. Here I'm going to say, my school, try to do this puzzle in, in one minute. You've only got one minute to do it. And then I could record something over here. But I won't do that. It's five minutes at the moment. Change it. I only want people to have one minute. If they haven't done the puzzle, it's going to say, start again. So it's a challenge. I want it to be a little bit hard. I'm going to save it. File. My badge. When you guys do it, you can do it a lot better than I'm doing it. I'm just showing you an example of how you can make games. and You're making games and using Purple Mesh. So now we go to sharing. If you go to the sharing part, it's usually over there. If you go to your game in the work section, look over there, it says my badge. In your folder called work, my badge, click on it, open it. If you go to the sharing, you can play the game, but I don't want to play the game. I want to share it now. Now I could share it within Purple Mesh. But if I choose that my mom's going to play on it, play my game on a website, then I'm going to not want to share it with email, blogs, or to-dos. 
I want to share it using HTML. So I go share, and look there, it says QR code, which Jesse's an expert with, and embeds. Look over here, it says iframe. You copy that, and you go OK. All I need is that. So I'm going to go to Google Drive. If you guys set up a Google account, if your mum and dad allow you, you can make websites very, very quickly. So it's in Google. So I'm going to go Google. And then I'm going to place that embed. New. This is my Google Drive. This is where I store all my files. I go to New. And we're going to look for Sites. Google Sites. It's something that comes for free. Okay. Look over here. You can put your school, my school. Puzzle. I'm going to upload the school badge. So let's go to the school badge. Add logo. My school badge is going to be there now. There we go. So now I've got a school badge. And I say, my puzzle. Now I'm going to put the puzzle here. Look over there. Embed. Embed. Embed code. And I'm going to place my iframe, what I copied, in there. And I'm going to put that into my into my frame so share open and i go to share and i'm going to look for the iframe the qr codes there the embed code there it is iframe src is the location of the file that's where you're going to find my game that's the address of my purple mesh game what i'm highlighting now this is the size of the game when they play it so I'm going to copy all this, and I'm going to put it into my site. So I go here, and paste. I go next. And you'll already see it's loading. I go insert. And you can see now it's embedded into my HTML. I'm going to just make it a bit bigger. And remember, if your mama has a tablet... Then you could change it a little. If you go like this, just make that a bit bigger. If you go to there, you can even test it what it will look like on a cell phone. So if I go over here, preview, this is what it's going to look like on a computer. Look over there, large screen. Uh, not so great. Look, it's a bit small. If I go play, that's not how I want it to be. So on a computer, if your mother's going to play it on a computer, you're going to change it. I'm going to go to edit, and it says 300. I'm going to change that. It should probably be about 800. And this one I'm going to make 800. Change the sizes. And look, it should change quite substantially. Go save. And let's see what it'll look like on a computer. Load it. This is just showing you a preview of what it's going to look like. Look, it's looking a bit bigger. That's a lot better. It's got play. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. You can now do it. Your mom can go onto the website and she would be able to play your game. And they wouldn't even know that this game's coming from Purple Mash. I would write, thanks to Purple Mash for this game. I wouldn't act as if I did it all by myself. Some people are very tempted to do that because people think, gee, you're so clever that you can put a game into a website easily. Purple Mash did help you, and it's always very good to, to just thank the people that helped you to do things. Now, any Purple Mash game can be done like this. If your mommy has a tablet, you'll go here. Tablets, that's what this game will look like with a tablet. Not too bad. I probably would make it a little smaller if the people who are going to be playing your game are using a tablet. Then I would go out of this and I would click over here on this icon where it says edit and I change that. 500. 500 and let's go with 600. And I'm just guessing. I'm not really... That's 800, and I'm in the dark, so I don't often see well. Luckily, I've got Andrew next to me. Save. And now we're going to test it, what it'll look like on a tablet. So the person who's going to be playing it on a tablet, 
If your mom, your mom uses tablets a lot, then this is what it's going to look like. Tablets have normally got a standard size. Look over there, a lot better. Look over there, it works. So your mom or dad could play it on their tablet. Now, I don't know why when you guys had exams, you didn't send each other games and learning stuff. Because you could have, Purple Mash can do a million and one games and learning things. It's really a powerful tool. When you make a game, I wouldn't suggest you make it for a, a cell phone. Look at this. It really becomes very small. If it's going to be played on a cell phone, you're going to have to make it even more of a shrink on the size. So I changed it to 600. I could even change it to be 200. 300, 350. And I don't even know how that's going to look. It might not even still work. And we go next and save. And you'll see on a cell phone, it might be suitable. Look over here. Not great to play it. Look on a cell phone, it's really too small. You can go down. It looks like it might be playable. Oh, that's so small. Whoever's playing it on a cell phone, look at that. It's really awkward. So the Purple Mash games are more suitable for tablets. But if your parents only have a, a phone, then I would suggest you try a different game. Or make your puzzle that it's got a very distinct picture that it's easy to play on a cell phone. But that's a challenge for you. Now that's a Purple Mash game. So you can really, I did a Purple Mash game in such a quick time, you can make hundreds of Purple Mash games. A lot of people don't know it's as easy as that. Now Scratch can be done exactly the same. I'm going to make my Scratch game go here. Andrew, I'm going to put my Scratch game under here for my mommy. I want my mommy to play the Scratch game also. When you go to your Scratch game, it must be one of those shareables. So in other words, it's got to be part of your projects. Let's have a look. Mr. Bradley's got five shareables in his. And it's with that horrible music that I made the other day. So I'm going to just share it. Okay, we go to studio. I just want to get, and I hope I'm going to get this right. When you have Scratch shareables, these shared activities, you'll see there's the address. I showed you the address of a purple mesh activity you got with an embed. We're going to take that and we're going to go and we're going to put in front of projects. Here we're going to go and put in embeds. So I'm going to type in embeds. And I think this is going to work. I hope I've got it right. And that over there is the unique file of my scratch game. Hopefully this will work. I'm going to go copy. I want to go back to that website. And I hope this is going to work. I'm going to go embed. Embed code. And I'm going to go over here. The easiest way I'm going to do it is this way. Go to my purple mesh. See the iframe? I'm going to change that to my scratch address. So I'm going to copy it for the moment. Go to my website. Bring in an embed, paste the purple mash one, because I know it works. Sorry, the purple mash one, we know it works. But now we're going to bring in our scratch address. So go back to scratch, take that address, and we go back to our website, and we're going to change the address. We're going to go control V, and look over here, projects, embeds. And I think I must take away this funny slash at the end. See if I take it away if it works. Go next. Hope it's going to work. Whoops. Not working. Embed. Next. We're just testing to see. Something's happening. Yay! Look at that. His mommy can now play a scratch game in his website. I can make it bigger because I know I want to make it for a computer. So I'm going to just play around with this one as well. And we'll go over here that the scratch game must be played in my website. I'm just going to go out of it in my embed. Click over there. And you can see, look, it's 500 by 300. It's taken. So let's make it 800. By 
600. And we go 600 next. It's not even in scratch. And I can now publish it. And then people will play it. So they'll go like this. There it's on a computer. There's my purple mash game. Still too small. I could change the size of that. And then I got my, you won't be able to hear the music, but if I click on it, there it's playing. It's not a great game, so I won't play it, but you guys can do the same. Now, how did I get that? Let's just recap. We went into Purple Mash, and we brought in an iframe. And the iframe from Purple Mash gives you the address of the Purple Mash game. There it is. I'm highlighting it for you. You can change the size of it. So I'm going to make that 600 by 800. And like that, next. And save. Now it's bigger. I would always say at the bottom here, maybe bring in where you can type a text box. Just say published via Purple Mash. It's just a way of saying thank you. There's a lot of people who steal other people's work. If you are brilliant and make it all yourself, that's fine. But you have used a lot of the resources of Purple Mash. Do promote them because they've given you guys a wonderful tool. Now, remember with the same thing, you took the Purple Mash iframe and we knew that our scratch address is just in the project section. Now, look over here. Doesn't say embeds. It doesn't normally, I had to type that in. I typed in embed. And then I put it in, look, embed. And I put it in and I took away little forward slash. I took it away. And I also took away the S over there. And then straight away, that's how you're going to post your scratch game. How do I get it on the web? I still haven't published my website. And guys, this costs nothing. You got publish, website, my school puzzle, publish, and now I can send it to my friends. There we go. I'm going to send it to Aiden McConnell. You don't want to give people that they come onto your game, they just like suddenly change it. Save changes. Done. Now I want to share it. Aiden, I'm going to share it with you. So it goes, Aiden. Public on the web. There we go, guys. Look over here. Here's how you share it with anyone. Change. Anyone can find and view. Draft. Public on the web. No sign-in. Sign-in required. Okay, there. Now it should be that anyone can get it. Add message. Let's just see. Try to Aiden's Gmail account. There we go. It's gone through to Aiden and now Aiden can play my game. There we go. So guys, don't forget to use the iframes. In term three, we're going to be looking at HTML, JavaScript, and we're going to do a lot more scripting. We'd like to still share our games throughout. Don't forget to add embed and not embeds. I think I'll leave it off at this point. I hope you guys learned something from me. There's a lot of people who go to coding to play games, and they're not really coders. I wonder, you need to think about whether you want to be a coder or a pseudo-coder, and make your decision when you come in. Coding are the best systems thinkers of all. I don't want to see Braden looking for a computer as well, because he's also brilliant. Okay, thanks guys.